Okay, in this video we are going to be looking at gesture recognizers. And uh, just to wrap up one little thing before that, uh, you know, I did decide that I could put this if statement in our setup physics method in the character class uh, outside of this if statement where the exact same lines of code appear twice. You never want to do that. It's not a disaster, but it's just not efficient, is it? And uh, then I've set the restitution down to 0 0.2, so the bounciness is uh, lowered. I put allows rotation to know because eventually these gesture recognizers are going to start to move our character around, and uh, that'll uh, part of that will get uh, taken care of with the uh, will take care of the rotation. And then finally, uh, let's go ahead and add in a couple more things here to the um, our collision and our contact test bit mask which is just going to be to include other players in there as well so uh, we'll be listening out for collisions with both the wall and the, another player all right so over here on our level um, let's also while we're just kind of tidying things up let's set the gravity down to uh, 0, 0.0 for both the uh, X direction and the Y direction and once you've done that now you're ready to go so let's go over here to the very top of the um, implementation file in our interface block and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, paste all these in so feel free to uh, pause the video on your end I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of set up a lot of these gesture recognizers all in one big swoop so we've got um, a UI swipe gesture recognizer for our first four of these then we've got uh, three tap gesture recognizers and then we've got a rotation gesture recognizer and um, these are kind of obvious uh, well eventually they're just going to move uh, the character left right up or down uh, this one is just going to uh, handle if you tap once that'll be to attack uh, a two finger tap or a three finger tap or if you want to extend this to even a four finger tap is going to swap the leader position with whoever is in the number two spot or the number three spot okay and again you can do that with four characters if you want as well uh, now that we've declared these, uh, we can go ahead and uh, get them set up. Uh, the reason I'm declaring them is because I do want to um, reference them in two different methods. All right, and the first one's going to be this uh, did did move to view method, and we're best to put this. Um, let's go ahead and well, let's start organizing things a little bit. And um, with that in mind, let's put in here pragma mark. Um, uh, camera centering okay and then above that we'll put in here pragma mark gestures and what does that do for you well check this out now if you um, click right here see this you can see that uh, we, we're kind of sectioning off uh, bits of our code all right and another good one would be uh, right here contact listener and that's uh, did I spell it right? Yeah, it's usually stuff that you just you know they're gonna you're gonna end up returning to quite often. Or again, it's just for simple organization too. So, all right, inside of here, uh, we are going to write void did move to view, and you will see that um, you get a little note here. It says called immediately after a scene is presented by the view. Great. The parameter here is the important part because it's going to be this view right here that we add our gesture recognizer to. And again, to kind of save us on time, uh, I'm going to start to paste these in for you all. And here are the uh, the first four of them. I'm not sure what the uh... oh right. Sorry. So um, swipe gesture left, right, up, down. Uh, these all kind of follow the same uh, pattern here. We are going to allocate them, uh, knit with target self. Okay, self is just this class. And then at selector is going to be, or this method, selector name is going to be what gets run if a gesture is recognized with uh, these settings here. So that setting is uh, set direction, UI swipe gesture recognizer, direction left, and then this last line of code here just adds that to the view. So um, if we want to start to silence these warnings, all we need to do is write over here void, and then oops, handle, oops, handle, swipe left, and it is going to be looking for um, us to pass in the uh, the recognizer with it. And in this case, you're going to put in UI swipe, oops. Swipe gesture recognizer and then recognizer. Okay. 
So inside of this uh, method now, you could um, you could reference you could record <laughs> you could reference the recognizer and access some of the uh, states involved with that. So one of them might be um, a number of touches required or a number of touches that occurred um, while this while the swipe is going on. Uh, for right now, let's just leave these blank. So what we can do is a, a quick copy and paste here as well for the uh, other ones, just so we don't have to listen to those warnings and I guess I should put these in the same order I've got them up there so up and down uh, now before I um, do anything else I want to go ahead and get this in here there is a corresponding method uh, for dealing with your scenes when they move from the view all right and again you've got in here your view parameter and what we want to do this what we want to do here is uh, remove the gesture recognizer and I'll do these again and I'll just I'll just copy all these in um, and I'll put in a little note here that too that says uh, scene moved from view and until we transition out of this scene of course you're not going to uh, see this but uh, believe me you want to get this in here now because uh, this led to some problems when I was transitioning uh, my view and um, basically I was I was tapping something in one of the other scenes okay uh, in uh, my starts menu scene and these gestures were still getting recognized or at least this one right here was but it didn't have at, at that point it didn't have a corresponding uh, method handler to um, to go to so it just crashed uh, the application and it didn't actually give me a really good indication of why it was crashing at, at first so it took me a little bit of debugging to figure that out uh, so get those guys in there right now and uh, now let's um, let's go ahead and add in the other ones and I've got three more to go here so they're gonna be you know again just to save us time let's paste these in so we've got our uh, tap once, and the selector will be tapped once. Over here I'm saying that the uh, number of taps required is just one, and the number of touches required is going to be just one. And in uh, these other two cases as well, the number of taps required is just going to be one, both of those, but the difference here is that the number of touches is going to be two and three, all right? And then finally our rotation one is, oddly enough, the easiest one to set up. And uh, in it with target self, again, just uh, there's the... Uh, the method name and we put in here just add gesture recognizer all right so uh, let's do a bit more copying and pasting I'll copy these three and then I will take that method name right there oh I actually need a few more don't I I need one more of these and um, these method names are getting a little bit specific to um, to what um, function is happening in the game tap to switch to second meaning the second in command and there we have it all right um, now these uh, these should actually work and uh, what better way to test them uh, right now by just putting in here a little ns log statement so in this one we'll just say left right up this will give you guys a chance to catch up with me if you're following along um, let's uh, let's these are kind of out of order let's put this one right here uh, two finger tap one finger tap three finger tap and finally um, actually, you know what, before we um, test this, let's add in one uh, a bit of code here, which will be uh, to test the state of this. And we're going to put if recognizer.state equals, and let's see if it'll fill this in for me. Oh, you know what, oh, a few more problems here. <laughs> UI gesture recognizer state ended. I want to test when the state ends. And uh, only then will I call this. If you're following along closely, you'll realize the mistake that uh, I've made here. This is not a swipe gesture recognizer, is it? It's a UI rotation gesture recognizer. And this is a UI 
tab, gesture recognizer. Okay, now uh, let's give this a shot. <laughs> Keep forgetting to get rid of that. Okay, so right, left, up, down, uh, one finger tap, two finger tap. I can't test a three finger one, can I? Um, let's just assume it's working well. And then finally holding down the option key to get these guys again. I'm going to rotate, I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating, and then I'm gonna let go. And it says rotation ended, great. Uh, if I didn't put this uh, state recognizer in here, I would, um, this would potentially get called um, multiple times, all right. So we'll isolate that to just the end state, and um, there we go. That's a, that's a good little setup. <laughs>